you know, they, they record close to like 20, 30, 40, 50 sets a night. It's uh, amazing. I'm sorry. I'm offended. <laughs> it's around 70. It's around 70. <laughs> so many matches here. And now getting back to the other side of winners, we got Aster versus Wise. So Wise is doing the right thing and forcing Aster to approach. But this is such a weird matchup because Aster does have all these tools to kind of skip what Pac-Man wants to do. Kind of stay behind, charge that fruit. It's the flip kick. The flip kick is the skip neutral button. So what is Wise going to have to do to contest that? Oh no. Bad tech chase, but did, did get out of the way. Aster answering right back though. Oh, barely clipping Aster's head. Missing. Galaga. Aster doing a good job there, just jumping over the Hydrant and trying to pressure. I feel like Zer in this matchup is extremely important. Because you can just keep on Zer in that Hydrant and be in a position where Pac-Man can't follow up and hit you with something. Yeah, it's not gonna be it's not strong enough in the air to actually get rid of the oh my god. Just too long. Anyway, it's not gonna be enough to actually destroy the Hydrant, but it is gonna be enough to kind of be like, hey, one more hit and this thing is gonna go flying. Yep, exactly. Oh, good fake out there by Aster, but again, snuffed out by the up air of Pac-Man. Now why is he doing a good job and just waiting for Aster to throw out that flip kick to punish? And sometimes it's just too fast to do anything. Oh, good F smash there by Wise taking out the first stock. Always remember to tech, folks. Yep, always. And right now, Wise very comfortable here at the ledge. If Wise was just a little further back, that, that down smash paralyzer would have connected. But could unfortunately, have, have. yeah, of course. Oh, Pac Man got the up air strings now. Oh my god. It's Mario all over again. <laughs> yeah. Oh Ooh. my goodness, those toes are poking. Are they toes? They look like boots. That's true. Actually, they look what like What are under those under boots, though? I need to know. Mm, stomping feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, does Pac Man have toes? I don't know. Ew. <laughs> Ew, I am does so Does he sorry. have fingers? Have we seen his hands out? He has a thumb. We know he has a thumb. So does he not have Oh my god. Toes? He might have toes. Is this just the next evolution of man? Is this the missing link? <laughs> Don't think about it too hard as we oh go into last stop for Aster. Man, Wise just doing an incredible job of just closing out these stocks with F Smash and racking up that percent. Aster looking a little out of place right now. Yeah, he's not oh really in goodness. his uh, Aster place anymore. He's in the zone, Pac-Man zone. <laughs> oh my goodness. But you know what? Takes out the stock finally. It's a shame. Wise is really using that last lock style to his advantage, but you know what? Now we got to play it a little more safe. Get these yeah. setups. Pressure on platform. That bell is going to be crucial to just confirm it to something big. Unless Aster... Oh, lost the bell. Tried to Z-drop. It didn't lead into anything. Ooh, Ooh. Never mind. Had it already. Just like that. Game two. Game two. Wise is certainly locked in and trying to make it to... Winner's finals of, I guess, his first Zeno? Or maybe he's been here a couple times before? No, no, no. no. He Aster, comes a lot? Aster comes a lot. Wise, oh, never I'm sorry. seen this man before. Yeah, I was going to say, Wise. <laughs> I, I was saying, uh, Wise is locked in. Looks like he's really trying to take this weekly all the way, for sure. But now look, we're running into game two. Look, he's got to make his favorite Pac-Man player proud. Yes. Himself. <laughs> I feel like we don't see Pac-Man a lot anymore. We had T, who was playing Pac-Man for forever, the leading representative, and I know Sinji just had a great performance at Let's Make Big Moves, and those are the real two Pac-Man representatives that I see doing big things, but this character, for as good as they are, not as much of a player base as you would think. Well, here in America anyway, Sinji is really True. the one holding down the forts. Right, right. But you know what? I think Wise, Wise would be the next oh. one, but he has to win this set before I can say that definitely. I feel like Wise was surprised that that killed by, the, by his reaction, I think he uh, might have might have missed, didn't DI properly, is what I'm trying to say. Look, it's some bad DI, or maybe that move is stronger than we think, yeah. or maybe the sun set on the wrong side of the world. It could just be a <laughs> number of things. Of course. Nice F tilt there by Pac. Ooh! Aster doing a good job of just jumping over any option that Wise is going to throw out. When you start charging a smash like that, you only got a few moves you can really throw out. Who's going to throw out an up smash? Nobody. Who's going to throw the melon? Nobody. 
Yeah, there's one one thing that I find interesting about Aster's gameplay. I haven't seen too many uh, rip up smashes. I feel like that's a kit or a tool in ZSS's kit that is certainly useful. But again, you have to get close to Pac-Man in order to do it. So very tough to do in this matchup. But why see why also has been super smart and not actually camping a lot on the platform and instead yeah. playing a much more grounded game. Right, right. Knowing that you do have those options where Aster can pressure on stage pretty easily. Oh! What a call out for that flip kick! Never mind, that's not a skip neutral button, that's skip the stock. And right now, Wise is trying to set something up. Aster playing a little aggressively here, throwing out some options, forcing Wise to maybe throw something first. Great utilization of the Zare. Zare setting up that entire sequence. Hit him twice, was able to get a short. Oh, take care, boss. Have a good one. The second Zare was so so much closer, he was able to uh, bait out the, I believe it was an air dodge, or I'm not sure what happened, but hit the down smash, close it out with the up B. Nicely done there. So something Wise has actually caught on here is Ash has been able to <laughs> not get away with that. But uh, if you notice the uh, little um, the dive kick that Zero Suit Samus has, a lot yeah. of people try and parry that like first hit, but it has two hitboxes. One where it like hits the shield, and then the other one where it like hits the ground. Like right there. Right. Exactly. Ba -ba. Yep. But people always forget that. And there we go. That's There's why you don't smash. That's why you don't want to stay on platform. Yep. Aster can just throw that out pretty freely and not get punished. And it's a great combo starter too. I know it leads into a couple di different things for ZSS players. Now if only this game had that. Alright, we, we both saw that, right? What? The Hydrant hit like four fruits. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Aster playing very patiently, throwing out the strawberry for the first time. One of my favorite foods, personally. Delicious fruit. Strawberry shortcakes? Yes, please. But you know what, Melon? Underrated. But instead, we're going straight to the bell. All right. Oh, we are in the danger zone right now. Any bell into any smash attack is going to get it to close out the set here, but this way Aster is just so afraid, but finally gets in. This is the down smash, and you know what? Another raw forward smash. Oh. Wise is being like, did you catch that? And he's like, yep. Yeah. Caught a face full of ghosts. Wise moves on. We have our winner's finals set. Min Min versus Pac-Man. I think... Could I, you imagine? Could I, you have ever imagined? Uh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with the character roster we have here today. A lot... Those are such obscure, difficult matchups that if you haven't practiced against those characters enough, it's going to be tough to figure out how to implement your own game plan and see what's successful against those two. Yeah, no, you had to learn on the fly there. Learn on the fly. I mean, I learned a few things as a caster, but, uh, you know, we'll have to see if, uh, you know, our next players have learned anything from watching each other play and see how they implement that in Winner's Finals. If not, you're just going to have to go down and play John. And who yeah. wants to play John? <laughs> yeah, of Not before Grand Finals. Yeah, speaking of another obscure matchup, I mean, as long as you come to Xeno Weeklies, you're definitely going to get some Wii Fit experience. But again, these uh, this top eight graphic is going to make a lot of noise on Twitter, I could see. Mm -hmm. I could see, I could see that happening. Or Blue Sky? Blue Sky falls on Blue Sky? Blue Sky <laughs> is now open to the public. You don't need an invite code anymore. You don't have any excuse? Yeah. I mean, you can't pin things, you can't put in GIFs, you can't put in videos, but you know what that is just Man, you're really, you're really Twitter. selling it. I'm, I'm selling it because, you know what, it is just text for all you readers out there who don't want any fluff, and just all the stuff, go to Blue Sky. It's got uh, a little butterfly. We're going to be thrown to a quick break. Contraband, you want to sign off? Yeah, hey, listen, thanks again, Devin, Hustle3K, Xena, for having me, Swiss. Yep. It was a pleasure meeting Such you today. Such a pleasure, of had course. A, had a come fun here. time in Bracket. Yes, come cast again, please. Yes, I'm definitely going to try to make my way out to Xena a little more frequently now that I'm closer. So Good. I'll catch you all soon. All right, take care, everyone. Bye, everyone.